strap in and get ready to hit the stratosphere because today on At Your Leisure, we're learning to fly. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Stephen Human. Join us as we progress through our first flight and what it's like to leave the world behind. Plus, we'll find out how a pilot's license can change the way you recreate. Then, Reese Stein takes us across the world for a Mediterranean adventure with history and beauty to spare. What are the bullet holes all about? He'll show you. On the Outdoors Now with AYF. Welcome to At Your Leisure, everybody. Normally, we start out the show on four wheels, but today we're setting out on a wing and a prayer. I'm Stephen Human. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And we are in Ogden Airport today, and we're with Axiom Aviation, and we're going to learn how to fly today. Okay, so are you excited? I am. I'm a teeny bit nervous, but I'm very excited. Well, I've been able to, I went up with a trick pilot once for the show, and he let me take the stick, and so I was able to, to, to play around with it for a little bit and fly. But this is different because you can actually go through the, the program and you can learn. So I'm excited to actually kind of find out some of the ins and outs of flying. Absolutely. This is, this is a great program for beginners. Well, how about we find out a little bit more about it? We are a local flight school uh, here at the Ogden Airport. We are here to provide pilots with anything they need, you know, as far as training from zero to getting to the airlines. You know, we also do a lot of backcountry flying. So if you show up on day one, we take you out and first thing is we let you take off in the plane. We let you take off for the first time. Um, so you actually get a hands-on feel the very first time that you come in and fly with us. Depending on how fast you come and fly, you could get your private pilot in as little as a month, month and a half. The thing that's different about us from other flight schools is we're really pretty laid back. We want, we want to make everything as comfortable for the student as possible. So we can bring you all the way from a brand new, never, never flown before, all the way up to a commercial pilot. So what happens if we're up there and Rhea has a panic attack? If she has a panic attack, uh, we'll try and make her as comfortable as possible and we'll land as soon as we can, get her back on the ground safe. Okay. What happens if we're up there and Steven throws up? That's not gonna happen. Oh, yeah, because you, that. you are happen. a lightweight. That's not gonna yeah, happen. This could happen. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> but we are on the whiteboard teaching lessons, making sure the students have the knowledge that they need. And then we also have a simulator that we can help them get used to actually some of the flows and some of the controls of the airplane and, and teach in that way as well. Rhea, you're crashing! <laughs> up over there. Oh my gosh, I don't think I should be. <laughs> Wait, right pedal? <laughs> Oh! <laughs> what the? Oh! <laughs> That's a flock of seagulls. I am ready to fly, and those birds better watch out. Come for a tour, come for an intro flight. We can get your feet wet and get you up in the plane and see if it's something you want to do before you decide officially if you want to work towards a license or not. It's really freeing to be up in the air like that and looking out at the horizon. My favorite thing about teaching people how to fly is like, it's always been one of my passions, one of the things I've always wanted to do. When I see someone who has that same dream and they don't know it's a reality, that they can actually just come, sign up, and go fly a plane, when they learn that they can do that and then they actually do that first takeoff and first landing, seeing that smile on their face and, and the, giving that joy of aviation and passing it to other people is really the passion that I have and I want to give that to as many people as I can. This is amazing being able to pilot the plane on my first time up. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, but it is so much fun and a very, very different experience if you've, than you've ever had in a plane before. Well, a little bit later in the show, we're going to show some of the recre op recreational opportunities that open up when you get your pilot's license. This is going to be a lot of fun. You're going to want to check it out. But right now, we've got to go off to our travel adventure. Zach Cipriano is taking a look at Rally on the Rocks. Hey, guys. Zach Cipriano here. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Rally on the Rocks. It's this huge side-by-side -side event down in Moab. It's coming up soon, and that's the extent of my knowledge. I've actually never been down there before. I'm not the expert here. I don't know why Steve asked me to tell this story. But luckily, I've got friends like 80 Triple S here in West Haven who are the experts and they can fill in the blanks for us. So let's go find out from them. Come on. So 
So Rally on the Rocks is just a really good opportunity to go out with other side-by-side -side enthusiasts. It's a huge gathering in Moab. Um, there's guided trails, there's intermediate, advanced, whatever you want to do, no matter how experienced you are or if you're just a beginner, they have a place for you there. There's a ton of vendors. Just really good get gathering to meet new people to go ride with. It's pretty much strictly side-by-sides. Um, so everybody that you get down there is in the same thing as you. It's not Jeeps, it's not dirt bikes. They're very organized um, with events during the rides and then after when you get back from the rides, they have events at night, dinners, they have lots of vendors there that are offering services, good deals on tires and wheels, all kinds of stuff. So we will have a booth down there. Um, we're mostly there for a little bit of support. We'll have some repair parts, you know, belts, axles, just the minor things for Polaris and Can-Ams. And then I'll have t-shirts and hats and cute tank tops for your wives when they come down too. The Rally on the Rocks event runs May 16th through the 20th and will be headquartered at the Old Spanish Trail Arena just a little bit south of Moab. Now if you're like me and this will be your first time attending, here are some great ways to be prepared for a week full of riding along the crimson deserts of southeastern Utah. So the biggest thing is just make sure you, when you go out on the trail, you pack a lot of water, pack a lot of food. Um, there is grocery stores in Moab, so it's not you have to take it all down with you. You can buy it once you get there. Have a roof on your machine, pack the sunscreen, that type of stuff and just make sure that you know that it's going to be long days so you're ready for them. In addition to provisions, it's important to make sure your rig can handle whatever Moab can deal out, especially if you're planning on taking some of the more difficult trails. You can come here to get your roofs, your windshields, your tires, whatever you're needing to get your side-by-side -side all set up because it's going to probably be fairly warm. Um, who knows, I guess it could rain. Either way, you're going to need a roof. People do winches, um, skid plates are a good thing. Uh, we recommend definitely bigger tires and wheels. That way you get more ground clearance. We also recommend if the machines have sway bars to disconnect those. That way you get a lot more articulation in the wheels. We have everything for your machine to have it be top notch, ready to go. Um, we have a service department that can get it all serviced and ready for you. Oil changes, uh, cage installs, street legal kits, whatever you need. Because street legal is huge down in Moab, so you can go to the trails without having to trailer. And we can do all of that here. We'll be down there supporting the event, being out on trails, uh, meeting the people, uh, being part of the event there. We will have the new Can-Am Maverick X3 Max. So that just barely started shipping this uh, last month. So it's kind of a little bit of a rare machine right now. So we'll have one for everybody to see. We'll have uh, just an X3 Max two-seater and also this Polaris Turbo right behind us with the vent cage and the stereo system and everything already installed. So you can kind of see some of the options that you can do to your machines and see how they perform on the rocks. And as exciting as it is to meet new people, test out your pimped out rig, and see what others have done to their side-by-sides, ultimately, the landscape is what takes center stage. The trails are rated according to difficulty, but rest assured, no matter your skill level, you'll have the chance to admire your surroundings. Millions of years worth of art completely engulfs you. I'm not exaggerating when I say there's something to see everywhere you turn. So, in addition to having your machine modified and your water bottles full, prepare to be blown away at the Rally on the Rocks this year. So make sure that you register online sooner rather than later so you can get your pick of trail rides. Well right now we're going to go to our commercial break, but we'll be right back with your product review. Don't go anywhere. Look south to adventure. Look south to beauty. Look south to San Juan County. Out here, the road goes on forever, and what you'll find will change how you see the world. Climb on your OHV and discover forgotten landscapes and vistas that challenge the imagination. From Blanding and Monticello to the cliff faces of Monument Valley, we're open and ready for you to explore. San Juan County, Utah's Canyon Country. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion. Whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Razor leads the way. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Perfectly combined to chase what matters. Lifelong memories with friends and family.
in a place that is beyond words. There is nothing to be said. Except, take your time in Bryce Canyon Country. For unbeatable side-by-side -side performance, Yamaha offers two choices. The groundbreaking YXZ1000R with five-speed manual transmission and the new YXZ1000R Sport Shift with automatic clutch and paddle shifters. Perfect for conquering tight technical terrain. For superior side-by-side -side performance, the choice is easy, Yamaha. Now get up to $3,000 customer cash, plus as low as 0% financing. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Darren Kinder, and guess where I am? Well, I'm here at Easter Jeep Safari, and I'm here with Jeep, and they brought down the coolest concepts you've ever seen, from stuff that you can take out and race, to full-on prototypes that we can take out and beat up on the trails. So let's kind of take a look around and see how many cool things we can find. We use Easter Jeep Safari to introduce uh, our latest uh, concept vehicles. We do anywhere from five to seven vehicles a year. It's usually a good mixture of a little bit heritage, a little bit new tech, definitely some capability, and then a little bit that's just pushing the limits of fun. Where else do you, does a manufacturer produce concept vehicles just for the customers? We're not doing this necessarily to, to go out and sell that CJ66. We've got the doors open, customers can hop in it. Well, the first thing that caught our eye was this Safari because it's got all Isinglass all the way around in it and a plastic roof in it so it's got light in it from everywhere. Plus, they mounted the seats in there at an angle so that the kids can look out and see what's going on besides just looking down at their phone. But it does have a full iPad right in the dash. And then this illuminator caught our eye. Now you can see why this caught our eye. We counted up, there's at least 50 LEDs on this thing and it is bright. Plus, right here in the center, it has a infrared camera on it so it can pick up prey out in the distance and then those lights will follow wherever that infrared goes. So it's a pretty cool system. Now this vehicle would really catch Chad's eye because this is the 1941 tribute to the original Jeep. And what they did is they made, basically made this one-off machine and rolled it right down the factory line. And they shut down the Jeep factory for the day to get this thing out. Everyone in the plant had a hand in building it. Definitely some hand-built uh, pieces to it. And one of a kind, just a, a throwback to the original MB. Now this is my personal favorite. This is the Switchback. And this is basically a JKU, but obviously it's got a lift. It's got a ton of extra features. Now the doors and the top are kind of prototypes, but there's still, most of the products on this Jeep, you can get from Jeep Performance Parts and rig up your own JKU with all these same things. So that's why I kind of like this one the best, because we could take the AYL Jeep and make it look just like this. Well, coming down and seeing these Jeeps is almost worth the trip in itself just to see this. But there's so many other things. There's so many private guys down here that have built cool units like this. There's a whole display area with all kinds of cool stuff in it. So you could spend all your time just, just looking at, at some of the neat prototypes. That's not even mentioning going out and actually using your Jeep on the trails. So get down here and enjoy this Easter Jeep Safari. Right now we need to go to commercial break, but when we come back, more at your leisure. faster, pull harder, and leave everyone else behind with an impressive 154 horsepower combined with 113 foot-pounds of tire spinning torque. The Maverick X3 absolutely rockets off the line, going from 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds. All thanks to a turbocharged, intercooled Rotax ACE engine. So get ready to wait for everyone else to catch up. The time to buy is now. It's the Ray City RV Show parking lot sale. Join them this May 17th through the 24th for the best deals of the year. Over $31,000 off select models. Don't miss the sale. It's the Ray City RV Show parking lot sale.
life starts where the blacktop ends. If the power of an engine makes your heart race, don't settle for anything less than Polaris Razor, the ultimate off-road vehicle. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, and unmatched agility, all perfectly combined to help you chase down what matters most. Polaris Razor, we fuel your freedom. Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. Stephen and I are learning how to fly today over here at uh, Axiom Aviation in Ogden. Are you having fun? Oh, so much fun. Are you ready to go up again with me as your co-pilot, making sure you're safe? No, <laughs> definitely not. I wouldn't do that either. I, I, I think we would. <laughs> That would, that would be a tragic end to a fun episode <laughs> if we were to do that. But one and a of the, really good life. Exactly. <laughs> well, one of the things that's fun about getting a pilot's license that a lot of people don't think about is that it actually broadens your recreation opportunities as you become a backcountry pilot. Now, what is that? What does it mean? How about we find out a little bit about it right now? So in all the activities, you know, ATVing, kayaking, or rafting, I, you know, I, of course I'm going to be a little biased, but I think backcountry piloting is the absolute most hands down way to go when you're looking for total freedom. There's not much that can stop you, you know, once your wheel's off the ground. You go where you want to go, um, and you get to where you want to go. Like if there's, you know, a cliff or something like that, you know, you're going to be stopped if you're on the ATV. If you're kayaking or rafting, you know, and there's debris or logs, you know, in the river, you're going to have to, you'll be stopped. As far as terrain goes, you know, it's kind of um, unlimited as long as, you know, we can find a spot to, to set that plane down. You know, there's two types, I guess, of backcountry landing that you could do. There's going to be grass strips or gravel strips that aren't necessarily paved. And a lot of these planes can kind of scoot and land um, in these short distances and take off. So it allows you to get into some real remote places, you know, that could take, you know, multiple days of hiking to try to get to. So you'll be able to, you know, really get to some, uh, I guess, real pristine untouched areas, you know, say if you're into fly fishing, that sort of thing, or you're just looking, you know, to, to have some quiet time. It's a great, great way to do it. A lot of the pilots here, we kind of all like to vote for going north um, up towards maybe Jackson Hole area. We do a lot of, you know, backcountry flying up there, you know, kind of scooting around the mountains and that sort of thing. It's just incredible scenery. We've got the Tetons up there. You know, you realize, not like kind of in a pretentious way, but you're kind of untouchable. You know, down here you're dealing with, you know, traffic, you're dealing with traffic stops, you're, you know, you got other people, you know, just whatever it might be. But up there in the air, you know, it's, it's quiet. All you've got, you know, is the low hum sound of the engine. Literally the sky's the limit. You can point the plane in any direction and go where you want. Oh my gosh, how much fun is this? I've never done this before, but I'm definitely gonna do it again. The best part was when we were taking off and you're just, you're pulling back and you're just feeling yourself come off the ground and everything is beneath you and not a care in the world. This is a really neat program. Well, speaking of flying, we're actually gonna fly over to the Mediterranean and see what Bree Stein is up to. And we also have to thank Rocky Mountain ATV MC for every one of these trailheads because they sponsor them and they are awesome. I'm Reese Stein at your leisure on the tiny island country of Malta, the first stop on our crisscross adventure around the Mediterranean. And what Malta lacks in size, it more than makes up for in thousands of years of history. If you like old stuff, amazing cities, and breathtaking scenery, little Malta delivers big. We visit Stone Age temples near the capital of Valletta, which likely witnessed animal sacrifice as long as 5,000 years ago. Artifacts show these ancient people were skilled craftsmen and had an artistic flair. Why, they may even have invented the miniskirt. These temples are actually older than the pyramids, older than Stonehenge. Malta has been a popular place for many millennia. 3,000 years ago, the Phoenicians built the walled city of Medina, which stood as Malta's capital until the 1500s. Here it is said St. Paul came ashore after being shipwrecked. The cathedral is in his honor. A 
leisurely stroll down Republic Street in Valletta is a walk through a museum of Baroque architecture with quaint shops and cafes lining the pedestrian mall, an open air monument left by the Knights of St. John nearly five centuries ago. The plain exterior of the Co-Cathedral of St. John gives way to an elaborately decorated interior with every inch covered in artwork or gold leaf. In a side chapel where cameras aren't allowed, Caravaggio's masterpiece, The Beheading of St. John the Baptist. A short walk to the gardens built for the Knights of St. John 350 years ago provides breathtaking views of the Grand Harbor, maybe the most beautiful in the Mediterranean, with the saluting battery ready to welcome the next dignitary to town. A brief stop, but enough to fuel a hunger to spend more time exploring Malta, maybe even a stop by the palace to say howdy to the Prime Minister. But our cruise presses on to Tunis, Tunisia, on the coast of North Africa. Patrol boats armed to the gills surrounded our ship to escort us safely into the harbor. But the warm Tunisians welcome us with open arms, a brass band, and of course, camels. Why the big deal about security? Well, just two years ago, terrorists shot up our first stop, the Bardo Museum, killing 22 tourists and wounding 50. The museum, now with added security, houses a fantastic collection of Roman mosaics salvaged from ruins along the Mediterranean coast. But I came to Tunis to see Carthage, capital of an empire that dominated the Mediterranean in the first thousand years B.C., home of Hannibal, uh, of elephants over the Alps fame, one of antiquity's greatest generals. But these ruins at Carthage are not Carthaginian. This is not the Carthage of Hannibal's time. That was destroyed in the second century B.C. This is Roman Carthage. Rome attacked Carthage in 146 B.C., enslaved the citizens, burned and buried the town, and built a Roman city in its place. 2,000 years later, only these Roman ruins remain. We also visit more recent Tunis, the Souks, an 800-year-old maze of streets and alleys filled with shops of every kind. Our visit ends with a salute to the 2,841 American servicemen buried at the North African American Cemetery, honoring soldiers who died liberating the region from the Nazis in World War II. On to Algiers, capital of Algeria, where we're greeted not by guns, but by cameras. We're only the second large cruise ship to visit this new tourist destination, and the tug captains are in awe. In the harbor, we must negotiate a flotilla of Olympic-style racing shells before embarking on our Algerian adventure. We are treated to a walking tour of the Kasbah, Algiers' ancient, mysterious, walled inner city of twisty, turny streets. Come with me to the Kasbah. Kasbah, loosely translated from the Arabic, means lost tourist. Around every corner, we find a tiny shop. Mustafa is master of metal artwork, while Brahia creates colorful ceramics. A proud Kasbah resident shows off his baby, while a couple of youngsters scurry away to play peekaboo with my camera. Two escorts packing serious heat ensure our safety. We're invited into a traditional Kasbah home for mint tea and a taste of Kasbah life. Both our local guides are longtime residents of the Kasbah. I am a girl of the Kasbah. I was born in the Kasbah. I'm still living in the Kasbah. So I, play, I, I played in the street when I used to be a child, okay? So I never uh, hoped to leave the Kasbah. And we hope to return someday. There are so many more mysteries of the Mediterranean to explore. Restein at your leisure in Algiers, Algeria. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high the stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in the basin with a youth reservation Skin starvation That Duchesne County life
The time to buy is now. It's the Ray City RV Show parking lot sale. Join them this May 17th through the 24th for the best deals of the year. Over $31,000 off select models. Don't miss the sale. It's the Ray City RV Show parking lot sale. Let's be honest. You don't know much about Beaver County. Well, let me tell you about it. It's the birthplace of outlaw Butch Cassidy and inventor Philo T. Farnsworth. Some of the best skiing in Utah is at Eagle Point. You've got camping, Canyon Breeze Golf Course, Crusher and the Tushers, Beaver Territorial Courthouse, Snowmobiling, Renewable Energy, Pioneer Car Show, Squeaky Cheese, Ghost Town to Explore, Best Water in the Country, Paiute ATV Trails, Old Frisco Kilns, Horse Racing, Hunting, Fishing, and it's a good place to live. Beaver County, mountains of fun. I could tell you more, but why don't you come and see it for yourself? Welcome back to At Your Leisure, everybody. We've had so much fun today here at Axiom Aviation, learning how to fly and finding out about backcountry pilots and all that cool stuff. I've learned a lot. How about you? Oh, me too. I've learned that if you fly into birds, they will kill you, <laughs> at least in the simulator. That's right. Not in crack. real life. There weren't any birds. That would have been scary, though. Oh, that whole cracked windshield thing yeah. was too much. <laughs> I'm glad that didn't happen in real life. I am too. Well, we have our calendar of events. What have we got going on? Oh, indeed. Okay, so the first thing we got coming up is Rally on the Rocks coming up out there in Moab. We just did a story on that with our travel adventure. How much fun was that? Exactly. And that same week, we have the UTAZ ATV Fun Run going on in Kanab, Utah. That's a great event. You can go down there. We are actually going to be down there, too. You can get AYL stickers from us. It's going to be a fun event. So all of this is coming up just next week. I know. It's going to be great. But we have to go to our sticker winner. Oh, we do. And I actually have it right here. Chad texted it to me just yesterday, so let's take a look at the winner. There he is. He caught this one in Richfield at our good friends at Jorgensen's. And there's the license plate number, 328VWD. You are a winner. Call us this week at 801-947-8888 because you just won $400 from RyeFab to get all of your riding gear taken care of. Woohoo! All right, let's take a look at next week's show. Well, in one week, AYL is headed east as travel reporter Zach Cipriano discovers the adventure possibilities in Tokyo. If you've never go-karted through a city of 13 million people before, this is the story for you. Then, we'll find big thrills in very tiny packages as we look at one sport with room to grow. Well, next week's show looks great. And we've had so much fun today. If you want to come out and try the program at Axiom, you can just find out more at their website, flyaxiom.com. You can go through the program and you can enjoy what we've been able to enjoy today. Yeah, fantastic instructors out here. It was really fun. It was. Well, that's all the time we have for today, so we've got to go. But remember, there's adventure around every corner. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At your leisure. Let's fly. All right. Hey, let it be. You just saw that on our travel head. Excellent fun. Oh! <laughs> Story on that on our trail head. Travel adventure. Oh my. You have a message. You have a brand. You have something worth experiencing. What you don't have is an audience. It's time to change that. It's time to partner up with the number one outdoor program in the country and show the world what you have to offer. Advertising on At Your Leisure is effective and affordable, giving you an audience that dwarfs anything else out there, backed by a proven force of outdoor adventure. Contact the AYL team at 801-947-8888. It's time your message was heard.